Right, great girls, we're down to our last topic in trig, so we're almost there. And this is a really small topic, it's the idea of restrictions on identities. Now, we couldn't do this topic under um, identities because we hadn't done equations yet, and these are basically little mini equations. So example one says, consider the identity. Now, generally in an exam, they like to ask you to prove the identity, and then the second question will say, for what values of beta is this identity undefined? Or it might say, for what values of, of beta does this identity not hold? Now, when would an identity not hold? The only reason identity would not hold if is if one of the parts is undefined. And what makes something undefined? It's if you're dividing by zero. So basically, we need to look at all our denominators. Now, the unfortunate thing is that often you do a lot of work to get the same answers because the denominators are often interlinked. So first things first, let's look at our first denominator. So basically, this will be undefined when 1 plus cos beta equals 0. So that's the first thing we're going to have to look at. The second thing we're going to have to look at is there's a tan beta. Now just be careful. I said you're dividing by 0, but don't forget that tan beta has a whole bunch of asymptotes. And so we need to go and look at all the asymptotes of tan, because that's where tan is undefined. Now why is tan undefined at certain points? It's because tan is technically sine over cos. So even though you do not see a denominator when you see tan. Tan has almost got its own inbuilt denominator, and that is the cos. So tan of beta is something we need to consider. And then if I look at my third denominator, I have cos beta times tan beta. So basically, cos beta can't equal 0, because then we'll have an undefined situation. And actually, tan beta can't equal 0, because then um, so it's almost like two from the same thing. If this was zero, that whole denominator is zero. If this is zero, the whole denominator is zero. Now, the reality is the fact that these two are actually the same thing. Because tan of beta is undefined when cos beta equals zero. That's why you have asymptotes. When cos beta equals zero, tan beta is undefined. So if I just look at that, I should know where tan is undefined. I should know that the asymptotes for tan exist at 90 degrees, is the first one, and then it's plus k180. k is an element of integers. And guess what? That's exactly where, t where cos is 0. If I draw myself a little cos graph quickly, cos starts at 1, goes down to 0, back up, and back to 1. So when is it equal to 0? It's equal to 0 at 90 and 270. So you could say 90 plus k360 and 270 plus k360, except these are connected by 180 degrees. And so you can write it as one solution, which is 90 plus k180. So again, if you're looking at a memo for this type of question in an exam, don't think that your answer is wrong just because it doesn't look like the memo. 90 plus k180 is a condensed version of 90 plus k360 and 270 plus k360. Try to not waste time on solving things that you don't need to solve. So try and, you know, connect those dots of tan beta and cos beta being zero are related. Okay, now if I look at the first one, this one will be when cos beta is equal to negative one. Now whenever cos and sine are one or negative one, there's generally only one solution and I, I know where that is if I know my graphs pretty well, which we haven't quite studied yet. Um, so I get beta is equal to 180 degrees. You can do... Um, uh, shift cos of, of negative 1 and you'll get plus or minus 180. But don't forget that you don't have to write um, plus or minus 180 because 180 minus 360 is minus 180. So they're actually interlinked. So here's my one set of situations where this identity would be undefined. Here's my second set of situations where um, this identity to be undefined. And the third one I need to do now is the fact that if tan beta was zero, so not only is tan beta undefined, which I've already discussed, in this case tan beta is in the denominator, which means tan beta can't be zero. In fact, tan beta is in the denominator twice because it's here as well. So when is tan beta equal to zero? Well, either you can draw the um, tan graph or you can just shift tan of zero and you should know that it's zero and that'll be 0 plus k180. k is the integers. So this is a great example
because there are loads of different kind of places. Um, could I condense this down to one answer? And I think I probably could. So again, you've got to just um, read memos intelligently. So if I have a look, it's zero, then it's at 90, and then it's at 180. Um, and then if I go 90 plus 180, I'll get to 270, and then I'll go back to 360. Um, so actually, all of these could combine to the idea that it's zero plus k 90, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check. So zero degrees is one of the solutions. If I add 90, I get to 90. If I add 90, I get to 180. If I add another 90, I get to 270, which is part of the second solution. If I add another 90, I get to 360, which is back to this guy's next solution. And then I can keep going. So please do just read memos and um, don't be alarmed if your answer isn't exactly like the answer. Just have a look if they generate the same solutions. Okay, now that was quite a complicated one. In an exam, I probably don't want to ask one that has so many different things to think about because then it gets to being worth too many marks. Okay, let's just try one more. Um, consider the identity. In an exam, I'd probably ask you to prove that identity. And then I'll say for what values of A is this identity undefined or when does it not hold? So let's just look at our denominators. Basically, I get that 1 minus cos A, if that was equal to 0, I'd have undefined. So basically, if cos A was equal to 1, so that's my first situation. My second situation is that I have sine of A, um, and that obviously can't be 0. So whenever sine of A is 0, I'd have a problem. My third situation is I've got a tan in it. Now, even if tan wasn't at the bottom, just remember that wherever you see a tan, you're going to have a problem. So wherever tan is undefined, so when is tan A undefined, is that one of the problems. Whenever you see a tan anywhere, you've got a problem, even if it's in the numerator. But here it happens to be in the denominator. So basically when tan is 0, I also have a problem. So there's four things to consider here. You might end up generating some of the same answers. So let's just use the first one. When is cos A equal to 1? I'm pretty sure that it's when A is 0 degrees. Um, plus k360 and it's plus or minus zero so I don't have to write the second solution so that's the first set of situations now if I look at when is sine a zero um, that's a if you do shift sine of zero for sine I'm pretty sure that you're gonna get zero again so actually you're gonna land straight back up there but just be careful the one answer would be 0 plus k360, which overlaps, so I wouldn't bother writing it down. But your next answer is 180 minus 0. So actually, it's 180 plus k360. So there's a second solution that is new to me. Okay, let's look at where is, where is tan undefined. Tan is undefined at 90 degrees plus k180. Don't forget, wherever you see tan, even in the numerator, it has problems. And when is tan a zero? Um, I'm pretty sure that's at zero. Um, yeah. So that's zero plus k180, which I think I've already kind of said. So how can you amalgamate these all down into one thing? Well, um, basically, I've got zero. I've got 180. I've got 90 and I've got 0. So basically I could probably uh, rattle these all down to 0 degrees plus k90 I think. So 0 degrees plus k90, k is the elements of inches. If you wrote them all out in different, like if you wrote them all out in, in four different kind of um, restrictions, I would accept that. You don't have to whittle it down to 1. I'm just simplifying it to 1 so that if you look at a memo, you can understand it's the same as yours. So let's just check. Well, here's 0. If you added 90, you get to 90, which is one of the options. If you added 90, you get to 180, which is one of the options. If you added a 90, you get to 270. Now that comes from this. 90 plus 180 would generate 270. And then if you added a 90, you'd get to 360, which occurs here and here 360 occurs. So actually, I could whittle all of these answers down to that. You absolutely don't have to. 
again, this is a derivative chair is quite complicated ones. They don't like to ask too complicated because it just lands up being too much time and, and too many marks. Great.